Hey guys, it's Rob, and welcome to Earthbound. This game is about a kid who is 13 years old with psychic powers who, uh, kills shit. Yeah. So, uh, it's a pretty good game. I've played it before, but I've never beaten it. And, uh, I'm looking to possibly do that. So, if I sound a little different, it's because I have a different microphone now, uh, a different headset, my other one broke, but who gives a shit about that? Let's look at the different color of windows. <clears throat> We're gonna choose plain flavor, but let's take a look at the others. They're all ugly, so we're just gonna do plenty. Please name him. Well, this is Ness. And this is Paula. And this is Jeff. <clears throat> and this is Pooh. Name your pet. Well, normally his name is King, but uh, we're gonna name him Bentley, even though it probably won't fit. No, it doesn't fit. Bentley. Alright, we'll just have him be king then. Favorite homemade food is normally steak, but uh... We're gonna change it to... Pasta or pizza? I think pizza. I think pizza is one of my favorite foods. Well, if it's homemade food, then it would be pasta. Okay. <clears throat> favorite thing? Uh, of course, my favorite thing has to be, uh... Has to be dick. Kidding! Uh, rockin', ha hammer, gifts, slime, gaming. Gaming would be my favorite thing, I suppose. So, we have Ness, Paula, Jeff, Pooh, favorite food is pasta, our dog is king, and the coolest thing is gaming. <clears throat> the year is 1990X. Own a small town in Eagle Land. Now, I believe this game canonically takes place in America. Or it's supposed to be like a knockoff of America in the 90s. Something like that. Now, this game is... Uh, it starts off pretty lighthearted, but it definitely uh, delves into some dark uh, themes. So it's like this cute little game, but there's definitely some dark shit going on. <clears throat> what the fuck was that? Now, I know this game relatively well. I mean, not perfectly, because I've watched two streamers play it, and I've played it a little bit myself. Actually, I got about three quarters through the game. Now, the first thing you want to do is check this thing and get a cracked bat. And you want to equip it. <clears throat> Let's talk to my sister. Hey, bro, did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? I mean, I'm awake. What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I ask you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. Okay, we've successfully changed out of our jammies. I hope the volume on this is okay. If it's not, I'll adjust it. Next video. Let's talk to the dog. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Well, gee, because there was a fucking explosion, basically. <clears throat> I'm going to do my best to play this game without save states. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. 
Onet police are famous for closing roads if something's going on. We're going for the world record. Don't panic. It's just a what meteorite that who uh, fell. I just want to what go home. All right. <clears throat> Let's talk to you. No problem here. Did you hear the big bang? I think a meteor landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Yeah, but you're standing right here and you're not even moving. Now, this is our neighbor's house. Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out of here to chase after a police car. What is he, a dog? He said, Picky, you should stay home. So I'm home watching our house. Mom and Dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we better make our way to that meteor and see what the fuck's going on. Hello. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home, pronto. Don't tell me what to do, officer. A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around, and I'm hungry. I hate my job. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? No, probably not. I'd like to progress the game. Hey, you. Don't you know what time it is? Yes. Let's open the present. There's a bread roll inside. Oh, boy. Hey, Ness. Hiya, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help me make my body stronger. That's not what it actually said. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you, whoops, I almost told you about my, uh, uh, by the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Okay. Treasure Hunter, this is Liar Exaggerates House. Somehow I feel he may not be telling the truth. But I'm sure he eats garlic. That meteorite looks different than usual. Oh, okay. Do meteorites just regularly fall in this town? It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? No. You're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here. Shh, shh. Get out of the way, kid. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, get out of my way. Clear out, of way out, get my... Whoops, my mistake. I mean, get out of my way. Hey, Ness. Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops. I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Somehow, I don't feel that's true. Now... That's actually a mistranslation. His name is actually Porky. But I like Pokey better. Alright, so let's go home. Because that little fuck is like, You're bothering the officers. So now we get to walk across the map again. Fun. And I get to stop paying attention and crash into a tree. Hello, Mario. I mean, Mom. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed. Okay. Later that night. It's knocking on the door. <laughs> Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. Yeah. My land! Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? Alright, let the 13-year-old answer the door. I've got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm just gonna lie still for now. Okay. Thanks for inviting yourself into my house. 
Hey, listen to what I gotta say. When I took Pinky to the place where the meteorite landed- Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> uh, anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landings left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks, they're the local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed Picky was gone. I blamed the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? No. If you refuse me, I'll say something that'll cut you like a knife. Will you come with me? No. Okay, okay, I won't say anything to hurt you. Will you come with me? No. If you refuse me, I'll say something that cuts you- You just said you weren't going to. No. Okay, okay, I won't say anything- Alright, this is a loop. Okay, good buddy, let's blow this popsicle stand. But before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, babe? Uh. I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. The crack bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it! But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Okay. Now, this game starts out harder than the rest of the game. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. Thanks. You can also leave anything you don't need with me. Do you want me to hang on to something? I don't have anything yet. Be careful. Yeah, sure, you're cool, whatever. Well, you were pretty enthusiastic a second ago, Mom. Fuck you. Do you want me to go with you? Yes. I guess I have no other choice. Let's go. <clears throat> King joins you. Oh, Pokey, let's go. Alright, you go out in front, and I'll follow the safe distance. Let's get going. Pokey joins you. Joy. Well, I'm the only one who can answer a phone, so let's do it. Let's answer the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited... <sighs> I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. Ha ha ha! Slam! Pete. Alright, Dad, save my game. Yes, it's your dad. Well, I called you. Head to speed to get to the next level? Four. What do you need? Save my game. Your dad was thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I have created a record of your adventure. Okay. I don't think it's good to work too hard. Alright. So now we have spooky music. And enemies! And we have psychedelic backgrounds and uh, weird music. Just like Earthbound. Alright, we're gonna beat up a runaway dog with a bat. Making a loud piercing howl. King is barking. Pokey played dead. Ow. So beat the shit out of a dog and it just becomes tame. It's not dead or anything. S's level is now 2. Offense went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 2. PP went up by 2. And Ness learned life up. So, the green swirl means that you surprised an enemy, and you get a surprise attack. It's the Spiteful Crow. He's wearing a bow tie and, uh, some sunglasses. King is fighting attack. Pecked at my eyes. Oh, good, a cookie. I will use that, even though it's a shit tier healing item. Now, you have a limited inventory in this game, and it really becomes a problem. But, yeah, it's just part of the game. As you get more party members, you get more inventory space.
Come on, stop dodging. I'm gonna die. <clears throat> God damn it. I'm gonna die. Alright, now that I'm almost dead. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to eat my bread roll, which I didn't want to do yet. Or I can just heal myself. Now, early in the game, PP, which is your magic points, uh, is pretty scarce, but that's not good. Hey, Ness! I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man. When I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. Well, you should probably go check on that child, but okay. <laughs> Oh, if I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Well, you didn't really help me that much. So, fuck you. <laughs> what? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Bob and Dad are worried sick about us. Gee, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. <laughs> Pokey jo uh, Picky joins you. Ness, hear a buzzing? It sounds like a bee flying around? No. Oh, come on, you must hear it. Now I hear it. A bee, I am not. I'm from 10 years in the future, and in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness however you must listen where i am from there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times it says when the chosen boy reaches the point he will find the light the passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will ve reveal the path of light see it is my opinion that you are that boy nest this i believe gygus's monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on earth if you start to confront the enemy immediately you may have time to counter the evil intentions of gygus Three things are of the most importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I'll tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You're as exceptional as I expected you to be. So now we have a bee. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Ness! Looks like you really had a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, you said? Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost padding right out of my chest. So now we have Buzz Buzz, who uh, helps us in fights, which is good. No enemies at all, huh? That's a first. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero. You're just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. The Starman Jr. blocked the way. <clears throat> well, fuck him up. Buzz Buzz tried Psy Shield, whatever the fuck that Greek symbol is. <laughs> So on this fight, you really can't do much. It's all buzz buzz. <laughs> Alright, well I guess this enemy just isn't gonna do anything. There we go. 
psychic shield made it disappear. Basically, it just serves to give you a little bit of XP. Oh, baby! Offense went up by 3. Defense up by 1. Guts by 1. Vitality 1. IQ 1. HP goes up 13. PP goes up 3. That's pretty good. <laughs> Gonna need that help. Ooh, I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gig Gig Gygus' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Okay. Oh my god, you have a hideous sprite. I already knew this, but I hate it. Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really gonna get it now. And they're like, ah! My father beats the shit out of them. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been $100,000 or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. We have a pretty big house, so fuck you. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. I. I think it's a dung beetle! I'll smash your guts out! Wrecked. Goodbye, Buzz Buzz. Uh. Buzz Buzz? Uh, uh, I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now. <sighs> Sorry. So you must now begin your adventure. See you. Okay, bye. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Ona. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Very intelligent young man. And oh, the pain! Everything is getting dark. Uh, before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is a soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight-year sanctuary locations into the zone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone, but do you want to hear it one more time? No. Good. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ugh. All right. Rip B. Ness got the soundstone. All right. Goodbye. Why do you people have two couches? Do you have two cactuses, too? Cacti? No. So now the game really starts. Let's stop home and heal first. Uh oh! What's happening? It's the spin rabbi! I didn't come out with that. That's from Vine Sauce. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. Alright, bye, Spin Rabbi. Alright, let's heal up. Let's save the game. You're back. Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look too tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some pasta and scoot up to bed. Okay. I can do that. I like pasta. Now, unrelated, and I could be wrong, but this should be recording at 720p. I don't know if it is, but I'll check that. 
Press pick up the receipt, but let's call Dad. I deposited 33 into your bank account. Taking away what you spent, you should now have 63 in the bank. Okay. Hold on, you're dear old dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. So now there's enemies. <clears throat> So now we can get into town. Public library. Use the library more. Now you can get a town map here, but I know the map mostly. Uh, the towns. And if I don't, whatever. I don't need to take up an inventory slot. A library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow maps for nothing. No, I don't think so. Alright, so there's a little secret over here. Uh, so you can get, um... A uh, baseball cap, which increases your defense. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you've wanted it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone really brave like you. So we got Mr. Baseball cap, which helps our defense, which is very useful for the beginning of the game. Yes, yeah, so I'm doing watch out duty for the hideout. Can you take over? No. You're busy, I understand. Arcade is full of sharks. I can't play there. Nest dug around in the trash can. There's a hamburger inside. Hooray. Now let's go to the drugstore and get some equipment. Now let's save the game. Alright, let's go to the old ass ATM. So we'll just take all the money out and then put the rest of the money. Cold remedy? I don't need that. Uh, I can get a better bat. A cheap bracelet is $98. God damn it. Alright, I'll buy the better bat. Alright, so when you die, you lose half your money. So it's important to put your money back in the bank. God damn it. There's no reason to hold on to your money unless you're gonna buy stuff. Let's save one more time. A payphone costs a dollar. Of course it does. That's right, I should go to the burger store and buy some hamburgers. After I put my money in the bank. Already. Now you get money by killing enemies and then your dad deposits the money. As if that wasn't obvious. Don't you think you get more food value out of 14 bucks worth of burgers than 8 bucks worth of french fries? You'll feel better and more energetic if you eat better food. You know, you'll recover more health. Yep. Uh, I'll get 
seen it. I just... Now, because the beginning of the game is harder than a lot of the other game, I'm going to deposit my money again. I'm going to do $20 so I can save the game. That way, if I die, I don't have to go all the way across the map again. Alright, so we have to go to the arcade right now. And here we have a bunch of gimp suit guys. Want to start a fight or what? And I didn't want to start a fight, but okay. Skate punk. Now these guys are kind of strong. And of course I miss. Frank? You don't want Frank to beat you up, do you? Of course I do. Oh, God! 14th day, I'm dead. Never mind, I'm fine. Alright, well now we get to go to the, uh... Oh, there's a hamburger. Okay, I don't need to go to the inn. Just eat a burger. So I'm not a strong enough level yet to uh, go fight Frank. So I'm not going to do that. What level am I? Four. I should be like level six or seven before I try that. So we're going to grind a little bit. I don't want to fight two of you, damn it. I may die. Ow. 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 So there's rolling health in this game. You'll see that my health goes down, and I'm dead. So never mind the rolling health. When you're early in the game, it doesn't really matter. You, it goes down too fast for you to really do much. So I'm dead. And I would have lost half my money. How much do I have in the bank? Might need more burgers. 55. Alright, those guys give decent money. So at least I can grind up a little bit of cash too. You! You beat up my buddy, didn't you? You better just beat it. Yeah, I probably did beat up your buddy. Get wrecked. Oh, that's right. I don't have any PP because I died. I should probably go to the inn. You sound like a real whiner to me. Don't get lippy or kick your butt. I won't get loopy. So you don't do much damage to me anymore, do you? Your cookie is crap. 
I'll use it when I take more damage. Alright, come on, sharks. Gimp suit sharks. I need you to spawn so I can get some XP. What? You want to meet our boss, Frank? He's in the backyard of the game arcade, thinking about peace and love. You might want to visit him. He's right there. He doesn't look like he's thinking about peace and love. There we go. Yes, man, Junior. Oh good, thanks for calling for help. I'm gonna die again. I'm dead. Yep. Oh, I have one HP, my gut saved me. So, you have the stat called guts. And it gives you a chance to uh, survive. I should have killed the skateboard dude. Ow. It gives you a chance to survive when your health reaches zero. Ow. Ow. Yeah, so the beginning of the game is definitely harder than a lot of the other parts of the game. I'm dead. Okay, making good progress. I'd rather not fight two of those guys at a time because that's what happens. Come on, I need you guys to spawn. I need XP. There we go. No, I don't want to fight two. God damn it. Alright, the skateboard guy does more damage. Oh, good, thanks. Summon more guys. I'm gonna die again. Yeah, I'm fucking dead. Yeah, I'm dead again. Cool. Cool fucking game. Yeah, I can't fight two of them. They kill me. I need to get that uh, cheap bracelet. But I need to kill enemies in order to get money. And when the enemies are killing me, that doesn't help. Alright, here's one guy. Good. I can beat one guy. Another problem is these guys are faster than me most of the time. Definitely need the cheap bracelet before I try to fight for- Oh! Oh my god! There's four out there. Thankfully, they didn't join the battle. But jeez, there was four. I'm gonna fucking die again. They keep using their strong attacks. fucking dead again. Do I have enough money to buy that bracelet yet? Ninety-six, of course, I'm short two dollars. I might have to go fight some weaker enemies. What level am I? I think I'm still level four, yeah. That's why I'm having a hard time.
No, 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 don't make it. Damn it. You want to cross the map, you son of a bitch. Yeah, they're faster than me, which is not good. Ow. Right, let me eat a burger. There we go. And my and my defense didn't go up at all, but my HP did. There better not be four guys again. No, nope, just one. Never mind. All right, so at least I got the jump on him, so I get a first attack. That's some good XP, though. And the money should be pretty good, too. So I should be able to get that bracelet. Oh, where did you come from? The second guy came out of nowhere. Ow! Ow! Oh my god, stop. Oh my god, stop. Oh my fucking god. I'm fucking dead again. I thank god most of the game isn't this difficult. Because if it was, this game would be a lot less fun. Right, can I buy that bracelet yet? That's pretty good. Alright, let's waste money and save again. Let me check how many burgers I have. Six HP, great. Trash tier items. Oh god, there's like four of them. Where did you come from? Okay, good. They didn't get in the fight. Instead of 15 is much better. That's definitely more bearable. Level 5. Let's drink some of the juice and eat the cookies. Get them out of my inventory. Alright, 
very glad I got the bracelet. Nice critical hit. Damn it, I wanted to get that one guy before I went in here. And now he's not there. Damn it, two guys. Yeah, that bracelet helps a lot. Good, critical hit. Fuck you. Well, I just got hit by a truck. That was a shit level up. Oh, four guys! Okay, it only put two in the battle. God damn it. Probably gonna die again. Damn it. Oh, it did want to attack with that. We'll do it. Get wrecked. Forty XP, nice. Let's eat the shit to your items. How much does a bread roll here? How much? 30 HP, okay. That was 25, not 30. Alright, these guys are doing a lot less damage. Like 10 less damage. Let's go save. <laughs> Never mind, I forgot where the drugstore is. I'd like to be able to one-hit these guys, but I don't see that happening. Only uh, critical hits seem to kill them.
Alright, at least I can handle two guys now. I have a good amount of money now. I'll gain one more level, then I will try the boss. Oh, I one shot him. So he has either thirty one health or less. All right, two more battles, two or three more battles will level me up. We got plenty of burgers. So healing wise, we're pretty good. Fourteen health that level up. That was pretty good. Uh, let me go save before I try the boss. Save and heal. Alright, 
I'm not going to be using my uh, healing magic uh, side anyway, because I have all the burgers. Couldn't I get the 33 on the first hit? That would have one shot him, I think. <laughs> Kid, you want to become a member? Sure. Come back after you finish your... Uh, oh, fuck you. Alright, fine. I don't want to. You're really going to make me use another burger, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Frank, you are? Come on, can't you at least say your name? Nope. Alright, so this guy straight up has knives. Ow, 18. Ow. Holy crap, thank you for the crit. Fail proof Frank can't be beaten. And this is Frankie Stein Mark II. So now we have to fight a tank. And if you fight this thing wrong, you die. Ow. Come on, stop missing. Oh shit, I did not time that right. This is my first defeat. Fail proof Frank is now just failure Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. Seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power store there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at this spot. It's difficult to get the Giant Step, that's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. Entrance to the path leading to Giant Step is behind the Entertainer's Shack. Perkle, the mayor of Onan, has a key to the shack. Ness, you become stronger than I. Your adventure's just beginning. And now I can leave and talk to him again and be healed, I believe. Would you like to rest? Yes, please. 
Alright guys, that is going to be episode 1 of Earthbound. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, Rob out.